In this video, I'll be showing how to perform variance component analysis based on gauge RNR MSA method. Again, the data that I'm using here is uh, film thickness uh, that was uh, measured by three different inspectors for 10 different samples. And each sample was, each sample was measured twice by each inspector. So to perform the variance component analysis for the gauge RNR MSA, uh, you first perform the MSA itself uh, by going to analyze quality and process and then measurement system analysis. Here, the variable of interest is film thickness. You add this as Y response, part as the part or sample ID, and then inspector as the X grouping. Here under MSA method, you make sure to choose uh, gauge RNR and the model type you choose it's crossed and here I'm choosing crossed because uh, each of the part is measured by all of the inspectors at uh, random and then under uh, options under analysis settings you can choose uh, use REML analysis for more information you can actually refer the jump library uh, which gives more information about these different methods and then you can choose OK so this performs the uh, uh, the gauge RNR analysis. Now to perform the uh, variance component analysis for uh, the gauge RNR analysis, you choose the red triangle option here. Go to gauge studies and then choose gauge RNR. So in this pop-up window, you put K, which is nothing but the sigma multiplier, or uh, this is nothing but uh, the standard deviation that you want to consider and by default it's 6 and that is the industry standard as well and then tolerance is nothing but the difference between the upper spec limit and the lower spec limit for this particular example the tolerance is 2 uh, and then uh, also alternatively you can add the spec limit itself and then uh, you can say okay so this performs uh, the gauge RNR variance component analysis for gauge RNR uh, MSA. So here you can see there are two tables, the variance component table and the gauge RNR table. So the variance component table, it shows the variance component itself uh, for uh, the repeatability, reproducibility and part-to-part -part variation. The other table uh, above uh, gives the uh, variance component uh, relative to the uh, tolerance interval that we have given and it considers the standard deviation here uh, and here you can see that uh, so this for example repeatability it says 0.59 uh, this means the variation that is introduced uh, due to re uh, repeatability uh, and when that is compared to uh, the standard deviation or six times the standard deviation, it accounts for about uh, uh, the value is around 0.59 and this accounts for about 29% uh, relative to the tolerance. And similarly, you have the value for reproducibility, which is the variation due to the inspector and the inspector part interaction. And also you have the gauge RNR, uh, the total gauge RNR, which accounts for about 39% uh, of the tolerance, which is nothing but variation due to within or repeatability, uh, the variation due to the inspector and the interaction that occurs between the inspector and the part. Note that uh, the ratio of uh, the total uh, the gauge RNR uh, with respect to the tolerance ratio is also called uh, as uh, precision and this accounts for about 39.04%. Uh, 